Joe from Mainline Overland. Um, I'm here with our video offer, Sam. This is actually one of the times you won't see him uh, behind the camera. But um, we're headed up to Anthracite Outdoor, um, AOAA, for Ridgeback Guide Services St. Patrick's Day Trail Ride Weekend. So um, we're excited to get out on trail. And, uh, you have anything else to say, Sam? Yeah, this is uh, my first trail ride ever. And it's also uh, Mainline's first trail ride of the season. So we're really excited to get out. Bronco is finally uh, ready to go. We're hoping the classic over here does all right. We're gonna find out, yeah, but we'll uh, we've got some GoPros in the car, so we're gonna take you along with us for uh, our trail ride weekend. Should be fun. Hope we get some St. Patrick's Day luck, and the rover makes it. Yep. Okay. Before we hit the road, we wanted to check over both our rigs to make sure they were ready for the weekend of trail riding ahead. We started by installing Midland's MXT 500 GMRS radio on the Ford Bronco to ensure we had communications on the trail and on the drive up. We then removed the dual tip setup on our AWE exhaust and swapped it out for their included bash guard tip, which gives us more clearance while off road. For some reason, we decided to give the Bronco a quick wash, even though we knew we were going to get it filthy this weekend. Moving on to the Range Rover Classic, we noticed it was half a quart low in oil, so we topped it off and said a little prayer to the Rover Gods before we hit the road. going on guys we're in uh, Burnville we're about an hour into our trip and we have probably an hour hour 10 left um, I'm following Joe in the classic right now so far everything's going good we stopped grabbed some groceries some supplies so we're all set for the weekend um, we'll keep you updated on how everything goes but uh, it's smooth sailing so far so we should be to the site pretty soon and we can unpack and start setting up the campsite a few moments later Care to explain? So we went up, what do you think, a mile hill? Probably about a mile, mile and a half. Pretty, pretty steep grade and you know, being on 33s and stock gears, I was on the floor most of the way and almost to the top. And uh, my temp gauge is getting a little bit higher than I would like to. So we decided to pull over and take a break, but this is all part of the rover life. You know, this is what we signed up for. Yeah, we love straight pipe jettas. Uh, yeah, so we pulled over, probably what, it stopped here for what, 20 minutes or so? About 20, put, 25. Put some ice, put some water on it, um, let it cool down. We started it back up. My temp gauge is reading normal, so... Um, check engine lights on. Yeah, check engine lights on, but that's when not... When isn't it? That's not really a concern. Yeah, so uh, we think we only got about half a mile left to go up the hill, and hopefully we can just coast. Yeah, throw it in neutral and let it coast. Uh, if not, we're either going to be pulling it with this, or we're going to be making a 40 minute trip turn into a two hour trip. So yeah. stay tuned to find out. See what happens. What's up everybody? We are like two minutes out from AOAA. Um, we let the classic cool down for a while and everything was good. Happy we're here. We're gonna set up camp soon and um, go walk around and see some cool rigs. All right guys, so we made it to Anthracite Outdoor, AOAA. The classic made it after that little uh, 30 minute, 20 minute pit stop. Um, there's a lot of hills on the way here, so just happy we made it. Um, there's the uh, legendary Ron Harrington, looking good in his yellow. Always in the yellow. Always in the yellow. Unless it's coming out of the fan and just literally spinning Throwing up. It. it might be. Just spinning up. Because if you shut that down, it's literally right yeah. here. 
Shortly after we realized that we wouldn't be wheeling the classic this weekend, we unpacked our tents, had some amazing food, hung out by the campfire, and then turned in for the night. Morning guys, we're here at AO8A. Uh, we're all set up in the parking lot. I think we're all aired down, kind of ready to hit the trails for the day. Um, if you kind of look around, there's a lot of Jeeps here. Um, we're one of the only non-Jeeps. Um, there's a Nissan Xterra over there. It's going to be running with us. And a uh, Chevy Colorado over there. Um, so, got a good mix of rigs. Um, excited to uh, get out on the trails, let this fall burn off a little bit. Yeah, hopefully the fog will burn off. So this will be a nice warm day today. And uh, we're going to head up on Fern Ridge to start out and uh, test the trucks and uh, have a good time. Throughout this trail ride, you'll be seeing this yellow XJ, which was a really cool build. It has a Volkswagen turbo diesel in it and is owned by John over at Dirt Road Therapy. So we're out on trail here at Anthracite Outdoor. Uh, we probably ran, well, we've been on trail probably an hour now. About an hour, yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, had some nice hill climbs to test out this truck on. Um, it is a little wide here, um, so we've been watching, the, trying to watch the paint, um, trying to go around those branches and stuff, try to keep pinstriping to a minimum today. But um, yeah, I've been uh, really impressed with it so far. Um, it was struggle, struggling a little bit on the first hill climb, uh, but I went and threw it in the uh, rock crawl mode. And uh, once I did that, it has not given me any issues. Um, 37s really helped make it up kind of any obstacle out here. Yeah, the crawl mode is cool because it's um, as soon as you're off throttle, it's well, accelerating. The back. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Once you let off the throttle, it almost breaks for you. So, okay, I'm off. I was going down a steep hill, and I and um, you actually have to be on the gas in order to move. Uh, the brakes will kind of just hold you there until you put on the gas. So it's a little different than driving. Um, of any other rig um, kind of getting used to it feeling it out today so uh, we'll keep you posted as we uh, keep driving through we're gonna get into some tighter sections soon so it should be interesting
Here we stopped on trail to check out an optional black bypass. There were a ton of lines through this boulder field, but Ron showed us how it was done. So uh, we're moving on on the trail. Had yeah. some lunch. Had a uh, had a crank sensor go bad on one of the jeeps, so we had a little bit of a time to uh, sit and eat. And we are back out on the trail, making some ground. Minty. Hi, Joe. Hey, Ron. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing good. How about you? Not too bad. Good, Joe. You're going by? Oh. If you notice in that last clip, Ron stood right in the way of the easy line on this obstacle and forced me to take the hard line where I put the first scratch on the Bronco. Sorry, Matt and Pete. After an awesome day out on the trails, we all took our turns getting our picture taken in the big coal bucket. second batch of potato chips here. Both this time we added um, the rest of the duck fat after it was left over from searing the duck breast. 
Now, what is this? Butter, uh, cherries, dried cherries. Butter, dried cherries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, port wine and balsamic yeah, you didn't vinegar. say anything when it was dark and there was no there was <laughs> I didn't no note on there. I know. Eat some duck, you fancy. F All right, guys, we're out here on day two at uh, AOAA for a day full of trail riding. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit cooler today. It looks like it'll stay cloudy, but hopefully the rain will stay off. Um, our big plan for today, we're gonna go out on the eastern side, um, do some more blue trails, some green trails, uh, get some scenic shots. We're gonna go up into the new section where they have the pipeline open, have lunch out on trail, um, bounce some trucks around, and have a good day. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. So, anybody have any questions? Everybody ready to go? Woo! Let's wind it up and get out of here. on everyone. I've got a cheek full of sunflower seeds and I'm driving a Bronco that is very far out of my um, what did you say experience level? Yes because he has no experience. I have no experience so. Decided to give him the keys for a little bit see how he does. It's the only way to learn is get behind the wheel you know. Should be interesting. Joe is my eyes. Yep. I'm watching all those corners make sure he doesn't hit a tree or something.
bash guard. For the last trail of the day, Ron decided to take us down Upper Anthracite, which proved to be one of the more challenging trails we hit all weekend. A few of the kind of novice drivers and those with stock vehicles decided to sit this trail out and uh, instead took an easier green route down the mountain. up our second day of trail riding here at AOAA. Um, we uh, lined up here at the end by the big coal bucket for uh, a couple group photos. Um, I think everyone had a great day out there. We split up about halfway. Um, some of us want to do some little bit harder trails uh, so we kind of broke off and some of us ran the harder blue trail and then the rest of them uh, took a green down but you always have to stop and take some pictures in the coal bucket over there and uh, so we're all finished up for the day and we'll uh, see you back at camp later. It was a great day. Uh, I had a wonderful time with everybody who was here, it was, it was a pleasure to be able to guide them and uh, spend time with them and hopefully we'll be doing it again next year and you better come out for it. Well, it's Sunday morning, uh, we're all packed up here at uh, the campground. Uh, I was kind of saying the final goodbyes, airing up tires, uh, but we had a great weekend here uh, with uh, Ridgeback Guide Service and Go Fox Adventures uh, here at Anthracite Outdoors. Um, we had a great weekend of wheeling. Uh, at night we had some classes. Um, we had a tread lightly kind of one-on-one -on -one demo course last night, which was uh, super important to us to preserving uh, the trails around here to keep them open um, so we could keep coming out here and having fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of this content, make sure you watch our videos. Um, if these get a lot of views, maybe our bosses will let, the, let us take the Bronco out again. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more awesome trail content and check out some recommended videos here.